welcome back for another video. In this series we look at the top players with predicted points to make your transfer plans and captaincy easier. Make data backed decisions to maximise your chance of success. We also cover the key talking points, considerations and we look at the top players by position. We've also included the predicted points for the next 4 game weeks because we don't just want a player to have an immediate impact, we want them to be reliable for us longer term. Before we jump in, today's video has been kindly sponsored by Spitch, which is a free app on both iOS and Android. A link is at the top of the description. You create a lineup within the budget and you score points based on how they do. What sets it apart is you pick a fresh team every game week and you can win prizes. They've got some completely free leagues to enter at the moment with prizes such as AirPods beats headphones and Premier League tickets. However, since you can play for money, it's 18 plus only. Thanks again to Spitch. To download the app, simply hit the link at the top of the description. Enjoy the video. Let's start with the goalkeepers. There's not much to separate them this week and it's Sahi's top with 3.9 predicted points. Wolves have consecutive clean sheets and the Everton game was his 11th of the season. That said, if you're looking to bring a keeper in, he's in a void for me because Wolves stand a fair chance of blanking in a gimmick 33 and they currently don't have any postponements. Schmeichel and Ramsdale on the other hand have plenty of postponements and they are cheaper. Leicester haven't been great defensively and have kept 5 clean sheets all season, though they've got 3 postponements and the tail end of the season will be packed with double gimmicks for them. Those are the two I'd consider unless you're on a free hit, in which case Sarah is an option too. The rest of the goalkeepers are avoids this week. Onto the defenders, and Regulon's top with 3.8 predicted points for the game against West Ham at home. With Sessignon out injured, he looks good for this one, but a very risky longer term pick, as Conte has shown intent to rotate. Doherty for 0.4 mil less could also see some rotation, but he's cheaper. Bowen could miss this one through injury, which you imagine helps Tottenham's chances of a clean sheet. If you're on a free hit, you could consider a Leicester defender, if not Schmeichel. Sionchu and Thomas are tied on 3.3 points. Due to the limited number of fixtures on this game week, if you can field 8 or 9 players, it's enough to survive the game week and it's not worth chopping your team up for players like Thomas who you'd never want longer term. Arsenal are likely to double in Gemic 33, which makes Tierney, Gabriel and White all great picks. Therefore, an Arsenal defender would be my pick if you're not tripled up already. If you found this video useful so far, please drop it a like to support the channel. Let's take a look at the midfielders next. Sun is the obvious pick among the mids and he's topped with 5.7 predicted points. If you've got a decision to make between him and Kane, then my pick would be Kane, who's in better form and he takes up a forward spot but we've been lacking options recently, while we have an abundance of mids. Barnes and Madison both look like great picks for their fixtures at home against Brentford. Barnes has missed a few games here and there throughout the season, but when he started the points have been ticking along. Barnes hasn't blanked for two games in a row since Gemic 5 and 6, excluding games he didn't play at all. While over the season, Madison has the most points in that Leicester side with 108 and he's hit double digit points on four occasions. With the return of Smith Rowe in Game Week 29, Martinelli looks likely to be the first attacking substitute. Therefore, if money's no obstacle, Saka is the best Arsenal mid to have. However, Martinelli has been taking some set pieces and he got the assist with Partey's goal. So you can't go wrong with Martinelli or Odegaard, even if he gets you 70 or so minutes. Rafinha's been a very frustrating pick recently and once again he was the biggest XG underperformer of Game Week 29. If you need to make a decision between him and Barnes, I'd say go for Barnes. Not just due to the high predicted points, but Leicester are also very likely to have a double gimmick in 33, while Leeds could blank. Let's take a look at the forwards next, and Kane is top this gimmick with 5.8 predicted points. If you're fortunate enough to have both him and Son, then Kane has the high projection in this gimmick and he'll be my captain. Lacazette is second with 4.6 points, followed by Jimenez and Tony. Up until game week 28, Tony had 6 goals over the season, but in the last 2 game weeks he scored 5, albeit a few of those were penalties. If I were on a free here, I think I'd have the 3 above him over Tony, but he's a good option too. Unfortunately, Brentford are unlikely to have more double game weeks for the remainder of the season, which could be something to consider too. Bamford returned to the starting 11 last game week for the first time since game week 5. He was subbed off at half time, with Marsh evidently erring on the side of caution, as he later confirmed there was no injury, but he was simply easing him back. It looks like it could be a game week too soon to jump on Bamford, but if you fancy the punt, we saw what he's capable of last season. That wraps up the video, thanks for watching. Before you go, please drop it a like if you found it useful. I read every comment, so leave one below and I'll be sure to read it. See you soon for the next one.